Google Vault allows you to take advantage of the sophistication of our back-end technology in conjunction with our easy-to-use and reliable web interfaces. Using Google Vault, you can very easily store your information for very long periods of time and even have numerous policies that determine how long particular types of information should be retained depending on criteria that you select. In fact, you can also use criteria of different categories to later on go to retrieve, and identify uh, relevant pieces of information, and in fact export those if necessary into files which you can then deliver to other business partners uh, or other stakeholders. There is in fact an industry model uh, for records preservation uh, which might help illustrate where uh, Google Vault fits with respect to how records are retained and processed. This model, uh, which is generally referred to as the EDRM model, essentially contrasts uh, volume versus relevance. So typically, where volume is very high, there, is, uh, there are often very few items which are relevant. And the technology that you typically use to manage very high volume uh, data is often different from the technology that you use to uh, manipulate and analyze and present uh, small numbers of highly relevant pieces of information. So another way of thinking about that is that Google with Vault helps you manage the high volume of information so that you can identify uh, pieces which might be relevant and then collect and preserve them. So let's take a look at Google Vault in action. To the Google Apps Vault screen you'll notice that there are effectively two silos. That's how we tend to think of these. There's a category for retention, and that deals with the policies around how long a particular type of data should be stored. So you can specify uh, characteristics of data, and then also the period of time which that data should typically be retained for. By default, in this case, the period is 100 years. Now the other silo refers to e-discovery, which is effectively the retrieval, the processing, uh, collection, etc. of data that which either belongs to you or which might be shared with you, or which in some cases might pertain to an investigation. We use the term matter uh, to refer to that, and you can think of it as a folder which collects uh, different sets of queries and export files, etc. If I were to open a particular matter, notice that I get an additional tab up here at the top, so I can always go back to my home screen by clicking on this My Matters tab. And down inside the contents of this matter, I can see the various users whose information is being held. Within that group of users, I can perform searches, different types of queries with different types of criteria. On these saved queries, I can effectively replay those searches and examine them online. So let's take a look at these results. Notice, for example, that the text version of this query here illustrates the various terms and conditions that are being used in the filter. And in fact, the results will contain both conventional emails and instant message chats. It's quite likely that I'll want to export this information. So when I go to my Exports tab, I can see any uh, previously exported files, as well as any exports which I might have in progress. And finally, I can also review the activity that investigators have performed by selecting a date range and 
choosing the types of events which I would like to report upon. And in fact, if I needed to constrain that to a particular set of users, I could add that as well. I can choose to download a comma separated values file containing the audit report. And open and browse the comma separated values file with any spreadsheet software. Welcome. In order to accommodate latecomers, and also the complexity of today's presentation, we've recorded the material so that you can play it back and fast forward at your own pace. In the meantime, feel free to address any questions via the chat window in the WebEx client. And now, let's begin with the presentation.